Hey, welcome back to the North Pole. I mean, uh, All American Arts Workshop. Hope everybody had a good holiday. Uh, stay safe, this new year's coming up. In this video, I'm gonna be making a awesome camel American flag out of uh, resin. I'm gonna be uh, spray painting the flag, um, using spray paint in, in the resin, to color the resin to make a camel themed flag that I uh, also end up spray painting a silhouette of a kneeling soldier on it and putting a nice frame on it and then uh, pouring two gallons of clear over it. I do not have video of that. I added that after um, the fact when I realized I was gonna donate this to a uh, charity event, a motorcycle run for a local hero that lost his life overseas fighting for the country. I am a big supporter of the uh, police and military. Um, so I do a lot of discounts and donations for uh, for police and military, so um, I always support the troops. Uh, stay tuned, I'm gonna have the editor cue the intro, and by that time, I'll have the background painted black, and then we'll start pouring some resin. Background all painted black. You got a few layers of just regular rust oleum black on there. And we're using a Lumalite clear cast two part resin again. And I already got one half in here, it's just a two to one ratio. So I'm going to use four colors here. First one's going to be this uh, really dark green ish. I'm going to spray them right into the one part of resin here. Quite a bit. Next one's a rust oleum green. And just a automotive primer. And a darker tan. So I'm just going to mix them up a little bit here. Alright, and then I got quite a bit of just regular uh, one part here, about half a bottle. In total, I'm using about 24 ounces, fluid ounces for this project. So I had my A in the cup already, now I'm just going to throw the B in there. I'm gonna mix this up for a couple minutes here. All right, so I got about 10 fluid ounces just in this. This is just regular clear. I'm gonna do a nice layer of that. I'm just going to spread that out. Alright, now that we got that uh, first layer spread out, we're going to go ahead and start mixing our colors. Just eyeballing it off the cup. 
Just gonna start putting dabs of each color everywhere. All right, so we got all them on there. Now we're just gonna start dabbing it out. gonna use our propane torch here just go over it real quick get them air bubbles out there isn't many but it helps it also push it around and smooth it out as well all right so we're back I think it looks awesome Nice camel pattern going. So we're gonna start putting our stripes on there and our stars. And I am just going to be using regular painter's tape. And then I got a vinyl cutter, so I just cut out some stars. I am going to place on there. Um, you guys, if you don't have a vinyl cutter, you just go to Hobby Lobby or uh, Michael's and get a, get some star star stickers and put them on there i went through and i marked on both of my sides where my stripes are and this tape is pretty much perfect thick thickness so i'm going to be just using one strip of tape for the stripe so i want the bottom i want the red uh, stripes painted so i'm going to tape off the white ones so i'm going to make sure i leave enough to wrap over the edge after I tape the other, take the other tape off that has my lines on it. But holding that side, coming over to the other side, making sure you get a nice straight line. You don't want anything to touch down yet. So there's my one stripe there. Now we'll just do every other. I'm going to measure out. I'm doing my union 18 and three quarters my, for my star. And then obviously it's gonna be my seven stripes high. So I'm just going to put a piece of tape there quick. Also going to mark out the top at my 18 and 3 quarters. Just a little pencil mark there. Try not to lose it in my design. So I'm just putting this piece of tape here quick just to get an eyeball of where to put my stars. So that's going to get all painted in, but the stars are going to get left out camel. I'm 
Now obviously if you don't have a vinyl cutter, it's gonna be a little bit harder to get your stars. You're gonna have to measure out where each one goes and stuff. So I'm just gonna give them a quick rub down. You wanna make sure you rub all this down, even your tape on the edges. You're doing a very thin layer of spray paint, so you're not gonna have really anything bleed, but still give everything a quick rub down. And then this piece of tape can come off. And then I'm going to bring my marked piece over here now. Got a little crinkly, but part that I need is still good. All right, so I just grabbed my piece off the side that has my marks on it. So now I'm just gonna make my uh, smaller stripes. And then I'm going to cut them at the right distance away from the, the stars. Nice straight line. So I'm gonna leave a little bit extra over here. Now we can pull this piece of tape off. Now I'm just gonna fold that down. Just a little bit further, rub it down. Then I'm gonna grab a level here. And I'm just gonna go right up to my mark both the mark at the top that I made and the mark on the tape there. Hold that down. Nice sharp exacto knife, not pushing too hard to scratch the epoxy. Cut all your stripes down. All right, so we are ready to start painting. I am just going to be using some gold metallic Rust-Oleum and we're just gonna lightly fog everything down. Don't go really heavy so you can still see the camel in the background through the gold even. So just rub everything down one last time. Make sure you got all your edges, especially on all your stars. and just start misting. I'm just gonna start from one side here. Make sure you get the edges.
Best thing to do is do a really thin layers, kind of build it up to where you want it. All right, so I like how that's looking. So I'm just gonna let that dry and we'll come back and start peeling off the tape. Well, everybody, there it is. Got all the tape taken off. Looks really nice. All right. So that was it. Thanks everybody for checking out the video. Thanks everybody for liking and subscribing. Uh, thanks for all the support. That gives me the uh, time to make all these videos and a little bit of extra money to do donations like this. So um, please hit that like button. Uh, make sure you subscribe. Check out all my other videos. So there's a lot more coming. And uh, for those of you who might get a little sneak peek here, might have seen this previously on my channel. Box joint jig, new version in the box. Video coming soon.